Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, it's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews. Back at it on over at Taco Bell to go in on something that I haven't had in literally over 30 years. And some of you nostalgic peeps are probably gonna recognize it right away. That's right, and as you obviously know, it's the Mexican pizza. Mainstay on the menu for many, many years, guys. Looking really, really nice. Featuring two crispy flour tortillas that they call pizza shells. In between them, we've got some seasoned beef, we've got some refried beans, a Mexican pizza sauce that's unique to this item, diced tomatoes, and a three cheese blend. So looking really, really nice. I have to admit the presentation looks really solid and it does feel kind of hefty, which is kind of nice as well. Now granted, I know what most of these ingredients taste like. I mean, it's Taco Bell naturally, but the wild card for me, because like I said, it's been over 30 years since I've had this, I don't remember it at all, is that pizza sauce, the Mexican pizza sauce. Very excited to see what that's gonna bring to the party with this. So before I confirm what it does actually bring, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Well, I was very surprised to see them cut this in fourths here, guys. So I've got four little pieces here, little quadrant slices, if you will. Let me see if I can grab one of them. And it is definitely messy, definitely cheesy. Let me lift this up for you. It's kind of falling apart as we speak, but look at this here. The Mexican pizza, it's been a very, very long time here at Taco Bell. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. It actually tastes like pizza sauce. That's pretty tasty. But of course, the flavoring of the beef, the refried beans, it's definitely Taco Bell and the cheese on top. Let's keep going. Mmm. Oh man, this is really good. This is really good. I'll definitely pepper this review with some more close-ups, but naturally, as you guys can see, I know it's kind of contrasty right there. There we go. The cheese itself could be just a little bit more melted on some of it there, but it is fairly decent on the top of the whole thing. The crispiness of those tortillas is definitely nice. But again, the wild card is that pizza sauce. It has a little bit of an Italian vibe, and I like that because it dovetails nicely into the flavors of Taco Bell in general, the seasoned beef that we already know, the refried beans. Definitely pretty tasty. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And again, the size is pretty nice on this. It's a nice sized platter, and I do like the fact that it's a double-decker style. So let me try and lift another one of these pieces up here. A little on the messy side, I'll do the best for you. Yeah, this is really, really messy, but let me see if I can give you another fast close-up like this. As you can see, we've got that meat, we've got that beef goodness on the inside there, the refried beans, the diced tomatoes, I'm not really tasting because of the nice pungent flavor of that Italian sauce, that Mexican pizza sauce has a little bit of spices to it, just a little bit. It really feels like it's got the flair of like the Mexican stuff that we're used to here at Taco Bell, at least in terms of how that is with the burritos. And then you have a little bit of that tomato type goodness, almost like basil -y, if anything there, but it really is pretty tasty. And I love the fact that the blend of cheese on top looks more like mozzarella, even though it's not, it's just a regular three cheese blend, but very tasty. Mmm, yeah. I don't know why I haven't gotten this in all these years, but it's on the menu for a reason. It's never gone away. Now I think I know why. So definitely tasty on this one. Again, presentation is lovely. Plenty of cheese on top. There's no shortage of it there. And of course, it's the classic flavors that you know and love from Taco Bell. All those flavors in there. Let me give you one more close up of this one before we round this one out. And as you can see, you focus that in. Even with those tomatoes on there, it is not bad. And the crispiness of the pizza shells, the AKA pizza shells from the tortillas that these are, it's just flour tortillas, it's pretty decent. But guys, a nice recommendation. If this is a favorite of yours, you already know what to expect from it there. This is really, really good. So definitely glad to give this one a go officially on camera for you and to scratch this one off the bucket list. That's definitely awesome too. Well, at the end of the day, it's definitely the flavors that you know and love from Taco Bell, just with a little bit of extra goodness from that Mexican pizza sauce. I'm really surprised they don't do anything else with something like that on some of the other ones. I'd love to see like a Mexican pizza burrito or something like that with maybe mozzarella actually in there. That would be a nice combination. But as this is, for the first time in over 30 plus years, I'm glad to finally give this one a shot and it is definitely worth your time. Price point is not too bad either, about $3.99 to $4.20 depending upon where you are. And again, the flavor is classic Taco Bell. What's really not to like about that? So with that said, I'm gonna to have to give the Mexican pizza the first time in a very long time for me here at Taco Bell, a pretty decent eight out of 10. Again, it's exactly what you'd expect from Taco Bell, but again, that wild card is the Mexican pizza sauce. That's a huge selling point with this one. And again, I'm really surprised they don't do anything else with that. Pretty tasty stuff, definitely. Okay, now the obvious question is, do you think this one is personally tasty? Is this a favorite of yours over the years? Have you had this recently? Drop some comments down below. Let me know if this is something that you get on the regular. And if you do, is there anything that you do to it differently, like adding different ingredients, taking things off, putting things on? What would you recommend for this one to really take it up a notch? 
Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. You know, it's too bad there's no pepperoni on the menu here at Taco Bell. Can you imagine pepperoni with their seasoned ground beef and those refried beans and all the other goodies in addition to the Mexican pizza sauce? I can. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks so much for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.